What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny 2 video. So ahead of E3 and the Destiny shit we should see um, later today or tomorrow, Game Informer have dropped a few details of the Hunter's reskinned subclass. I'm calling it like many do, the pole dancer subclass. Now although it does look kind of fresh, we all know really it is just a blade dancer with a few added extra touches and something massive taken away but before we get into the video guys at the end if you deem it worthy leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf okay so what do we know about the pole dancer subclass so the super is called the arc staff and this is what game informer uh, had to say about it after their hands on with this new subclass the arc staff super serves as the centerpiece for the subclass the roaming super looks and feels amazing in action while still moving very fast, it feels more comfortable than the Hunter's previous Art Blade Super that was a part of the Blade Dancer subclass in Destiny 1. I found it easier to manoeuvre between targets, both in front and behind me, and my strikes inflicted major damage. Even so, the Super didn't feel invincible. In one PvE sequence, I got overconfident and smashed into a large group of Vex attackers, and their energy blasts finished me off. To be honest to me, this sounds like a Blade Dancer. Okay, so grenades. What grenades will this subclass offer? Well, it's got skip grenades, it's got flux grenades, and it's got arc bolt grenades. They are all back, and in the words of Game Informer, not much has changed here. Jumps, we have high jump, strafe jump, which offers better mid-air directional control, and we have triple jump. Notice guys, blink has gone. Now that's massive. Blink is a jump, uh, so to speak, many people used and loved. Now it's been replaced with triple jump, taken directly from Gunslinger, and Blink is no more. It's, well, not on Hunter anyway. Now if you were a Blink user, how do you feel about this? Let me know down below in that comment section. Okay, so what else do we know about this subclass and what it offers? Well, we know of third abilities which will be shared across all subclasses, and on the Hunter it's the Dodge, or as we know it now, the Shade Step. You have a choice between two different dodges you can choose from. The Marksman dodge, which reloads your equipped weapon when dodging, and Gambler's dodge, which generates melee energy when you dodge near enemies. So what do we get in the subclass paths? If you don't know, I will explain. Bear with me. Each subclass now paired with all your other abilities offers two more paths. Each path consists of four perks. You cannot mix and match perks from each path. Perks are set in stone to that path. You can use one path of four perks or the other. You cannot mix and match perks. The first path is called Way of the Warrior. Perks are Combat Flow, which recharges your dodge class ability upon a melee kill. Deadly Reach, which extends the range of your melee attack after a dodge. Lethal Current, which makes your Arc Staff attacks hit twice after dodging. And Shocking Blow, which makes your fist emit lightning on a strike. The way of the warrior seems to me like it would work best with Gambler's Dodge for damn sure. The other path is called Way of the Wind. First perk here we have is Disorienting Blow. Striking an enemy with this melee disorients them, leaving them vulnerable. If you kill an enemy with this blow it recharges it instantly. Next we have Lightning Reflexes, which lets you take damage while dodging. Then we have Battle Meditation. When critically wounded, melee and grenades recharge drastically faster. And then we have Focused Breathing, which helps turn your Hunter into a speed machine. With this ability active, sprinting reduces your dodge cooldown, and you gain increased sprint speed. Damn old damn, I think I like Where the Wind. Now on screen now we are seeing Game Informer's verdict on the Pole Dancer subclass. Obviously I won't judge it until I get my hands on it, but from what we've seen, no doubt it does look like most people think. Just a reskinned Blade Dancer. Hopefully when we use it we feel a massive difference. Also sometime soon we should get more footage of this Arc Strider Pole Dance subclass, actual gameplay from content creators, using it and giving an honest, unpaid for opinion which I can't wait for. So the Arc Strider subclass, a new subclass coming to Destiny 2 for the Hunter. Destiny 2 as we all know coming out September 8th which I cannot wait for. So guys what you've learned about this new subclass or this reskin subclass, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about Blink being taken away? Me personally Blink, I mean I hated going against people using it. I mean they'd Blink above me and I'll get so confused 
confused. It was unbelievable. I'm kind of glad it's gone, but I know a lot of you people who used it will be gutted. But let me know your opinion down below in that comment section. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Thanks as always for stopping by, and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.